Statistics such as Moran's eye and quadrat analysis provide a single measure of spatial pattern for a map. For this reason, they are called global statistics because a single value is generated to describe the pattern of an entire map. As opposed to global statistics, there's also a family of spatial statistics called local statistics, which are used to detect the locations of clusters of high and low values within a map. So why do we need these local statistics? First of all, local statistics allow us to test if clustering occurs near a specific target location. So, for example, if we have a disease outbreak map, we can see if specifically illnesses tend to cluster around, say, a source of polluted water. Local statistics also allow us to discover new locations of significant local clustering that we weren't aware of before applying the local, the local tests. Another reason for needing local statistics is that global tests may not find a significant level of global autocorrelation, even if significant local clusters exist in the map. Also, global tests might find significant levels of autocorrelation even if most of the locations on the map don't exhibit any pattern of clustering. And that's the case, for example, where we have some very, very localized area that has an extreme amount of clustering. The map, in, the map pattern in general might be one of randomness, but this extremely clustered small area of the map might skew the global test into telling us that, in general, the map pattern is clustered.